The Christmas shopping season is well underway, and perhaps one of the most unusual Christmas shopping sales pitches is made here at Dorothy's, an exclusive women's shop in downtown Tulsa. This is men's night, and no women are allowed, only models who slink in the latest fashions. Refreshments are served to invited guests. The men are sent invitations and told to obtain their wife's statistics. This is very soft. Uh, I don't know if you gentlemen know or not, but brocade can be quite hard to wear if it's a stiff fabric. In certain style dresses, you need more body, but in something that's to be worn as closely to the body as this, we always choose the soft fabrics. This would certainly make any tree opening or party that night or the night before and many times afterwards. Ms. Dorothy, how long have you been conducting this men's night only program? I believe this is our 15th year. What do you find the most frightening thing about a woman's dress shop is to a man? I think the fact that he hasn't actually been in. He doesn't know anyone to ask for and he wonders how he will be treated if he goes into the store. We feel that these occasions give him an opportunity to learn more about our shop, and in doing so, he will feel perfectly at ease in coming in again. Now, how many of these men here tonight will actually buy something, in your opinion? It'll be rare if they don't all buy. And surprisingly, this also packs for traveling. You'll find that there are very few bulky things left in the world. If we can possibly select things that aren't bulky, that is what we do. And she is also wearing a warm-shouldered gown, this time an all-robin blue. This, of course, is probably not the ultimate. There will no doubt be other innovations. Competition would have it no other way. But for the present, this will definitely suffice. At least it beats shopping out of a Sears and Roebuck catalog. This is Mike Miller reporting. There are all sorts of ways to shop for Christmas. This, so far as I've been able to find out, is one of the best. This is the second floor showroom of Dorothy's, a moderately exclusive women's dress shop at 604 South Boston. And tonight, the once a year meeting of Dorothy's 604 Stag Club is in session. The idea which is pursued here is that there must be an easier way for men to shop for their wives and daughters, and we can only presume girlfriends and secretaries in some cases, than fighting the bargain basements and the jam-packed showrooms just before Christmas. To ensure that the individual Santas will be well cared for when he's ready to make his choices for his lady, Dorothy has arranged for cocktails and a buffet of sorts. The mood, relaxed, 20th century informal, and the great thing is that there are no gawking women around if a man wants to shop for lingerie. Mr. Borden, I think this would be very lovely for your wife. This is something new in our tiered white lace gown. Now, how feminine can we get? Isn't that lovely? How much is it, Mary? It's $36. Isn't that very pretty, Mr. Nelson? Beautiful. The only women allowed in the place during this once-a-year style show are sales ladies, Dorothy herself, and about a dozen models in assorted shapes and sizes. The models come assorted so that if a man should forget his wife's size, he can pick out a reasonable facsimile and see how the merchandise looks on the hoof before it's under the tree. Miss Dorothy has been putting on this show for 19 years now, and it is obviously successful. It is very successful. It has proven itself so over the past 19 years, Mr. Lang and I have been giving this kind of a show. We believe that the men enjoy shopping this way, and it has been successful for them because we get very few returns, which is a great criterion of how well they have shopped and been helped in our store. They have a very pleasant evening, they're not bothered by women shopping. They can keep their gift a secret if they like to. And everyone seems to be quite pleased. Miss Dorothy sends out invitations to this affair and gives away door prizes to the lucky entries. It lasts for three hours, and the sales obviously surpass the expense, or Miss Dorothy has been wrong for the past 19 years. Well, as I said before, there are all sorts of ways to shop for Christmas, but this is the best that I've found so far. The only trouble is that my wife visited here before I did tonight, and she picked out this for the model to show me. She may have to settle for a toaster. This is Clayton Vaughn reporting and shopping.